A stunning decision to overturn teacher tenure laws in California has New York City parents mobilizing to seek the same thing here. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. New York City teachers thought they had it pretty good when the union and Mayor de Blasio agreed to a new contract that provides 18% raises over the next five years. But now parents are mounting an aggressive campaign to eliminate teacher tenure and weed out unsatisfactory teachers. For too long, our children have been condemned to low-performing schools. Mona Davids of the New York City Parents Union tells CBS2 that a variety of groups are banding together to file a suit here similar to the so-called called Vergara suit in California. Yesterday, the judge in that case tossed out tenure protection rules, saying tenure protects teachers at the expense of students. The most unsatisfactory rated teachers, the most U-rated teachers, are found in uh, minority neighborhoods. And we need to look at that, because if we have almost 80% of minority children not reading, writing, and doing math at grade level, that's a problem. Maybe it's the quality of the teachers. But there is union pushback. American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten said the case, quote, stoops to pitting students against their teachers. And while a spokesman for United Federation of Teachers President Michael Mulgrew said his boss wouldn't comment on a New York suit that hasn't been filed, he did comment on the California ruling, saying, what shocks the conscience is the way the judge misread the evidence and the law. Mayor de Blasio defended the tenure system. The tenure system done right is a valuable piece of uh, the way we educate because what it's going to allow us to do is, is get quality teachers, get them to stay in our school system. Well, despite supporting tenure, the mayor did concede that the city needs a tough teacher evaluation system because, quote, every profession has individuals who start down the road and just should not continue. Hmm. Dana? Marsha, thank you.